Stage Manager on iPad gives us a new way to multitask and manage open apps. It allows for overlapping app windows for the first time on an iPad. Stage Manager is limited to the 2022 iPad Air and newer iPad Pro models. Any iPad with Apple Silicon, such as an M1 or M2 chip, will be compatible with Stage Manager. Stage Manager can be activated from the home screen and multitasking section of the Settings app. Here we can turn on Stage Manager, and below we're able to choose to show or hide recent apps or the dock when Stage Manager is active. We'll look more at these options a little later. When I close the Settings app and return to my home screen, nothing has really changed. If I open an app though, in this case Notes, notice this curved line down in the corner. This is actually a handle that I can tap and drag on to resize the Notes app window. When I reduce it, a Recent Apps column appears to the left, and the Dock appears on the bottom, because both of those are activated in Stage Manager settings. I can jump back into settings with a tap on the icon over here. The Settings app opens in full screen. Swipe in from the left edge and the Recent Apps column will appear. So this allows us to quickly switch between five recent apps. The four that are over in the Recent Apps column and the one that is currently open. Launch an app from the dock, Amazon in this case, and it's going to appear in the Recent Apps column when it's closed. Back in the Notes app now, let's bring in a second app alongside it. To do so, I can tap and drag on an app from the Recent Apps column or from the dock below. I'm going to bring in Safari. That window now is overlapping part of the Notes window. Just tap to bring Notes to the front. We can resize both apps with the handles in the lower left or lower right corner depending on where the window is. If I create a new note, it's really easy to just tap and drag images or text into the note from the Safari window. Bring back the Recent Apps column, and when I open the News app, Notes in Safari remain grouped, which is reflected in their icon here. Now let's add a third app into this group. I'm going to bring in Amazon, and now we can cycle through all three windows on the display at once. And they can all be resized and rearranged. To remove an app from a group in Stage Manager, Tap and drag on its top edge and just take it to the left edge of the display where it can then be placed in the Recent Apps column. We can also do this with a tap on the Multitasking Ellipsis button, which is available for each app in a group. Choose Minimize and the app is moved to the Recent Apps column. Tap Add Another Window, and the App Switcher will appear. We can then bring in any of these apps to the current Stage Manager group. For me, adding more than three or four apps to a group can make it hard to keep track of all the open apps. We can have multiple groups, though. So I could have Notes and Safari in one group, and then in the next one, have Maps and Calendar. A group icon will always display the app icons for each app included in the group, both here in the Recent Apps column and in the App Switcher. Stage Manager can also be activated or deactivated from Control Center. Just single tap here to turn it off or back on. 
tap and hold on this button, and we can then choose to hide the Recent Apps column or the dock when an app group is open. So let's turn off the dock. Now the dock remains hidden when Stage Manager is active. We can still swipe up from the bottom edge to view the dock. Swipe up to return to the home screen, and the dock remains visible here. So this only applies to Stage Manager. So if you find yourself switching between apps a lot on your iPad, and you'd like to streamline that process utilizing Stage Manager and App Groups with the option to resize and overlap windows could be a great option. And if you don't need it, just deactivate Stage Manager from the Settings app or Control Center.